to make life easier for IT administrators working in environments that use multiple QNAP NASs, QNAP has developed an app called QCenter that enables you to easily monitor and manage multiple units from one interface. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a NAS to QCenter. QCenter only needs to be installed on one NAS. However, any connecting NAS will need to install the app Connect to QCenter. I've already installed QCenter on my NAS, so I'll begin by opening it. This will start the setup wizard. On the second page of the setup, we can choose to initialize QCenter. There are a number of ways to add a NAS to QCenter. You can add one or multiple NASs from a subnet on your local network by inputting the IP address of a NAS along with the subnet mask. You can add a single NAS by the IP address or host name. If you have a NAS or multiple NASs registered on MyQNAP Cloud, you can add one or multiple NASs from there. Additionally, you can add a NAS by importing a CSV file that you may have produced from another queue center. And lastly, you can add a NAS that is behind a NAT router. In this tutorial, I'll be adding a NAS behind a NAT router enabling you to easily connect a NAS on a different network. Take note that in order for this method to work, the proper ports need to be forwarded. If you're in a scenario where you aren't permitted or able to forward ports, you can set up a site-to-site -site VPN to get to your NAS. The next page is where you set up the registration code. This is a type of authentication you are setting up to connect to your host NAS. So you will need to remember the code to input when you are connecting your client NAS to QCenter. Let's just try the code QNAP. On the next page, you can configure SMTP settings to receive email notifications if you like. Make your selection and click Next. The last page gives you the end user agreement and an option to send QCenter your usage information to help QNAP improve the app. If you don't want to send the user information, uncheck the box. Make your selections and click Finish. On the QCenter homepage, you can now add the local NAS to QCenter. Now that the host NAS has QCenter installed and set up, it's time to add a remote NAS to QCenter. Log in to the client NAS and open and launch the app, Connect to QCenter. If you don't already have it installed, you can install it in the App Center. Now in the first text box, input the domain name or IP address of the host NAS running QCenter. Keep in mind that you don't need to include the protocol or the port as part of the host name in this text box. Once you've given the host name or IP address, input the appropriate port in the next text box. If you're connecting to the NAS via the HTTP protocol, then port 8080 will be the default port, whereas if you're connecting via the HTTPS protocol, the default port is 443. And, as mentioned earlier, if you are not connected to the network of the host NAS via a VPN connection, these ports will need to be open in order to connect via their respective protocols. I'm going to connect via HTTPS, and so I will input the port number 443 and check the box for HTTPS. And in the last text box, I will input the registration code that I set on the host NAS when I first initialized QCenter. Once all of the information is input, click Install. After clicking Install, QCenter Agent will be automatically downloaded and installed. This may take a few minutes. Once complete, your screen will read, Successfully Installed. Now, in QCenter Agent, you can see the connection status and the host name of the QCenter host NAS. Now if you open QCenter on the host NAS, you'll be able to find the remote NAS on the home page along with the local NAS. To add additional NASs, simply go to the Server tab and click Add to initiate the same process we just went through.
Having all of your QNAPs visible and manageable from one location can help you streamline your IT infrastructure so that you're always on top of things regarding your data storage. For more information regarding recommended hardware and best practices, see the links below. I hope this video is able to help you take advantage of this great tool. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS. Thanks for watching.